Na ukawempe North Member of Parliament Horebo Segiri nya Muhammad's health condition has deteriorated. Yadusidwa kutisawe uh, entebe ngembera ye sinunji. I'm coming up with the details. Now doctors at Kisubi Hospital have stopped the senior presidential advisor Mr. Joseph Tamale Mirundi from having sex. I'm coming to tell you why. Now, a section of members of parliament want investigations into the claims that public figures in Uganda are poisoned. And uh, the Speaker of Parliament has responded. I'm coming up with the details. Now, my name is uh, Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fula. This is uh, the Buzz UG. Subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Uh, follow me the other side of TikTok. I'm using Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fula. Now, over the weekend, thousands of people gathered at Fanero Kampala International Ministries to participate in a three-hour hand-clapping competition that aimed at surpassing Clark Stevens' record of two hours and five minutes set during the July 2019 Festival of Awesomeness at UK Coventry. Uh, this was a big story trending over the weekend, and yes, the record has been set right there. Congratulations to Fanero Ministries for clapping for Jesus. Now, after successfully undergoing a stomach operation, doctors at Chisubi Hospital have advised the senior presidential advisor on media, Mr. Joseph Tamale Mirundi, to avoid having sex, otherwise he will die in the middle of the game. <laughs> now, early this month, Tamale Mirundi underwent a stomach operation after doctors established that it was the cause of a strange illness which was making him collapse. Doctors confirmed that Tamale was suffering from hernia. However, Tamale Mirundi is in fear of losing his wives. He revealed that doctors told him to stop having sex for six months from the day of the operation because it is the only way he will recover very quickly. Now, in his own words, he said, I have already warned my wives that if they attempt to sleep with another young smart wire because of nature, they will be ashamed. You know, I'm a witch. I will surprise them with my presence when they are having sex. I will badly beat those young boys of theirs. <laughs> we wish him a very quick recovery. Now, police in Jeru, Buyikwe district, are holding a UPDF soldier on allegations of uh, defiling and impregnating his own 15-year-old daughter. Uh, the victim is a P7 pupil in Jeru. Police spokesperson in Seziwe region, Helen Butoto, said the suspect was arrested last week and is being held at Njeru police station. She identified the suspect as Gabriel Naminya, 38 years. Eh, hey, guys, this is so strange. The world is running crazy, man. How can you do this to your very own child? It's very sad. Now, if you are a Ugandan and you have been following events in the country, you must have heard that so-and-so was poisoned, not only the opposition members, by the way, but also within the government. You remember the former Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Jacob Olanya? There were claims that he was poisoned. It was even confirmed at his burial by his father, Mr. Lokori. We just buried Haj Chanjo. Also, claims of poison were filled everywhere in the media. There is another former Minister of Works and Transport, Honorable Nasasira, fighting for his life in Turkey. It's also claimed that he was poisoned. Basically, there are very many people who have allegedly been poisoned in this country. Now, a section of members of parliament have requested the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Monk, to institute a committee that will, among other things, investigate claims that the public figures have been poisoned by unknown people. Honorable Semu Junganda, Chira Municipality Member of Parliament, and also Bujiri Municipality Member of Parliament, Honorable Asuman Mbasalirua, requested the Speaker of Parliament to put up a committee to investigate these claims. However, unfortunately, the Speaker of Parliament said that the Parliament of Uganda will not engage in such claims. Yes, the Speaker of Parliament said, nope, we are not going to engage in such claims. Well, finally, Kawempe North Member of Parliament, Horrible Segirinya Muhammad, has been rushed to Germany for further treatment. Segirinya has not been feeling well ever since he was given a court bail from prison. Reports have indicated that yesterday he was flown to Germany in company of his mother. We don't know the exact disease he's suffering from, but other reports have indicated that he has complications in his stomach. Other unconfirmed reports say he has skin cancer. 
Mbala um, msiza mwina bali uh, kudebaz yuji Nze aleksiku swaluwemba Aba singa wa manjinga mista kawempe Ilanga nzo miyandomba ka Muhammad Segirinya Anja walo kuwa tegeza ilanga mbaka kwa santuru na kure gulo Mbaka Muhammad Segirinya Atu walidua ya dusidua kutisawe uh, Entebe ngembera ye sinunji Ukula banga yule kere guangali ya jamani Na ye uh, ya, sose, ya sose kora stop over Kenya Okuso kuongero kubela ntiyo Musawe ayongero kumweke veja sakono kora report Semba yu atulu vanyuma Atu waliwe muguangali ya jamani Mubange litali ye wala Agina kubela nga atu waliwa e jamani Okuwe Kenya Musawe wa maro kubela nti Awade report e yenko merede Njawa luka kasaba na kawempe north Okusigalanga e salo Voli yao mumu sabira Mumu sindikile sala Okuongero kubela nti Awona vulunchi Akomewa weleze abantuwe Awe kawempe north Mweba lenyo mweba lile dara Yes, yeah, so that is the latest update coming from Horrible Seguinia's camp. And uh, right here on the Buzz UG, we wish him a very quick recovery. <music> My name is uh, Melads Milo, aka Fula. That is uh, the latest update I got for you on the Buzz UG right now. And uh, just in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Don't forget to follow me the other side of TikTok. I'm using Melads Milo, aka Fula. It is a bye for now. Thank you. Audio Jungle.